fresh, man. And as you see, we're back on the road again, dealing with a bunch of rain today. Uh, I don't like that stuff, but it's kind of let off. And according to the Doppler radar, it's uh, we're going away from it. Where are we going today? We're going to Cumberland, Maryland. They're inducting uh, my longtime friends, Joe Maphis and Rose Lee Maphis, into the Maryland Performing... The Maryland Mountain Performing Arts Hall of Fame. Arts. The Mountain Maryland Performing Arts Hall of Fame. I did it. <laughs> Hall of Fame or something like that. Uh, you'll know more about it when we get there. And this is a special trip for me because I got my buddy Zen with me. Zen Crook is uh, with me and uh, currently he's driving. As you can see, I'm over here in the lap of luxury. Only as I should be at my old age. So anyway, that's what we're doing and I know it's going to be fun. Uh, in theory it will be anyway. All right, gang, we made it. We're in Maryland, Cumberland, Maryland, uh, behind the Fairfield Inn, and the Burrito Brothers are getting ready to fire it up. And we're gonna go try to get a song, or, just, or two, or who knows. Anyway, we went over Negro Mountain. That was pretty interesting. It was. I, I, I couldn't have believed it if I hadn't read it with my own eyes. How'd you know Joe? I didn't. I never met him, unfortunately. <laughs> and then Larry Collins, I got to finally meet him here about, oh, eight months ago. Yeah, uh, Larry had more moves than X Lax. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he damn sure did. I tell you what, he was amazing. Oh my God, I got to do a good cup of coffee. Come on, man. You made it. I'm looking to Mr. Brass. How you doing, Mr. Brass? Great. What's going on? Nice to see you. Who are you drinking? A Coke. The Burrito Brothers Band. <laughs> Beautiful people, and I love it. I may never go home. Instead of having the F holes in Yeah, that's what Jody thinks it is, I believe. Is that what it is, yeah, Jody? It looks like there were electric holes and then they filled them back. Yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah. Daddy, this was his last, we played fiddle for the last time in California. And Marty Stewart played there later on, and, and there was a fiddle bone in the dressing room. And he asked the, the club owner, he said, What's up with that fiddle bone? He said, Well, that's Joe Merrick's fiddle bone. Last, last, play, last time he played, he broke his fiddle bone. So Mark, he brought it to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring it here, because he started. <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna go into the museum. 
Pretty cool. He ever whip you with that, uh, that fiddle ball there, Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how kinky they might have been. It was more of a spike than a whip. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, uh, that's uh, <laughs> hey, Tom, are you, uh, are you in for tonight? Yep. That's the part of all. Alrighty, gang, it's our day two. It's the induction day. Tonight is the big ceremony at the uh, museum, and I get to play a little bit. Brian Lonbeck is going to play a little bit, and then we're going to play together. Don't know if we'll have any video. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. But we just had dinner. Well, it's noon, so I guess it would be lunch, but to me, that's dinner. At this wonderful Italian place, a big family-style deal. Had a ball. Anyway, that's what's going on right here in Cumberland, Maryland. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out to Cumberland to celebrate Joe Maphis, our own country music hometown hero. <laughs> oh, we had a wonderful time here at the Italian restaurant today. Oh, uh, geez. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, one of the guys here up here. And, uh, you know, I'm checking in with Sonny and uh, Benny Von Booch later on. <laughs> I just said, hey, fresh man, what's happening, dude? What's up? You getting ready to pick? No. Pick it up, no. pick it up, pick it up. You know me, I'd rather shoot pictures. We gotta play guitar this afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, she likes, no, to, she, she likes to do this right can there. Can we do it oh, faster? Yeah, I can't. I can't hold it. She likes to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Mama likes to put the seven flat in it, not... Uh... But it needs to be faster because I can't hold notes. Well, by God, we can make it where you'll be rapping. <laughs> 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 we can do it like old Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Hey, you know
became a legend in country music, whereas Joe Mavis married Saddle Sweetheart, Rose Lee Mavis, a resident of Clear Spring, Maryland, and whereas the city of Cumberland recognizes the musical contributions of Mr. and Mrs. Country Music with induction into the Mountain Maryland Performing Arts Hall of Fame, we do therefore declare May 2016 to be Mavis Month in the city of Cumberland. Congratulations, Rosalie. I hope it's an incredible evening. Tell you what, folks, after you come up here, after you've just witnessed the previous act, you feel about that high. <laughs> so that's about how high I'm feeling tonight. But the other interesting thing is I've listened to about four different titles to this nomination tonight, so I'm going to try and get it right. So on behalf of the Mountain Maryland Performing Arts Hall of Fame, we accept Cumberland's finest, Mr. Joe Hemmings. In honor of Joe Mavis, the city of Cumberland recognizes Joe with this, uh, this inscribed award. We present this to Rosalie Mavis this evening. We just want to congratulate you, Rosie. You're our hero, and we just love you to death. I'd like to make it official while we've officially inducted Joe. We have our next guest to officially induct. Based on her music contribution as a vocalist and guitarist that brought joy to millions of people across Allegheny County, the tri-state region, Virginia, California, Nashville, and around the globe for her accomplishments in support of her late husband, Joe Mathis, entertaining by his side for nearly 40 years, and for her accomplishments as an entertainer in her own right, a Columbia Records recording artist and the best rhythm guitarist on the planet. Yeah. I nominate, what do you think, folks? I nominate Rose Lee Mavis of Clear Spring, Maryland, now Nashville, to the Mountain Maryland Performing Arts Hall of Fame and ask the acceptance of this nomination from Allegheny Museum President Gary Barty. All right, once again, on behalf of the Mountain Maryland Performing Arts Hall of Fame, we accept this very fine lady from Nashville, Tennessee, Rosalie Mavis. Married Cumberland resident Joe Mavis, the King of the Strings, and Rosalie Mavis herself was known as Mrs. Country Music. And on May 21st, 2016, was inducted in the Mountain Maryland Performing Arts Hall of Fame. We do present this key to the city view. <laughs> I love you dearly and uh, just keep on a rocking. <laughs> These two guys, I can't imagine us having this night without them here. Uh, that one right there lives in Bakersfield. I don't have a problem with that. This one here lives real close. <laughs> Not that I have a problem with it, but I'm just saying. But anytime we have something like, like the uh, first call, and they're always there. Always. 
and uh, I love you both for it. Terry MacArthur, this singer right here. There he is in the back taking pictures. <laughs> this guitar was before that guitar. And uh, it, it, uh, it fell on kind of hard time. We don't, we're, not, we're not quite sure what happened to it, but that man right back there brought it back to, to this. Thank you so much. You have did a great job. I mean, from uh, researching black and white photographs, that's all we had. That's all we could find. Uh, it's amazing. I love you, buddy. <laughs> and Dave Moser, yeah. So the, the, these two guitars are just very, uh, my, my father was identified with, with He just had this ability to play. Uh, he, did, he did things when there was no blueprint uh, out there. He just, I don't think he ever knew what he was creating. Really, just like we heard it, they didn't know. They were just doing it uh, at the same time they were innovating uh, electric guitars. Uh, and then they found out about electricity. <laughs> uh, I saw, several times I saw Daddy and Merle try to do something really cute, like, hey, I'll do the left hand on your guitar, you do the right hand on my guitar while they're standing on a cement slab. <laughs> Got their amps in a metal chair. <laughs> Lock them up. I tip my hat if I had one on, and I salute Joe and Rose Lee Mathis on behalf of all of her friends and Joe's friends that are at the Grand Ole Opry and WSN Radio in Nashville, and all of your family and friends in our home state of Maryland. God bless you, Legacy. God bless you. We love you with all our heart. Thank you, Rose Lee. Without ado, would you please uh, welcome my lovely mother, Rosalie Mathis. Yeah, Rosie! I guess we could, we could play this damn song. <laughs> Somebody do it. Brian, kick it off. Yeah, let's see if we can get it like old Joe used to do. <laughs> Yeah. 